The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. This is the Tiger Technicians Hour. My pleasure to be here Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. for the Tiger Technicians Hour. 617, what is it? 877-927-6648 is the number to call. It's a good time to be calling because we are so close to an all-time high in the Dow. And uh, most importantly, what we are looking at here is that Bitcoin is just flying uh, all time high. So, OK, let's do this. We'll just go very steadily through everything as we always do. The Dow is up 112 points right now at 35,570. All time high was August the 16th at 35,631. What's really important about this particular move and it's really important for me to have this in leg C breaking to a new high rather than leg D because I don't want you to fail under that, underneath that high at a peak D because that will say, whoops, probably a double top. But if it soars right through it, <coughs> excuse me, if it soars right through it now, that's going to be important. And I just, uh, all I can say is that within the context of the, the cup formation, and the breakout of this Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone gapping up and holding the gap. You know my rule about gaps. If you're if, if, on the upside, if the gap low is not taken out, but it closes above the gap high, that is exactly what you want to see for a continuation pattern that turns the candle close of that particular session. In this particular case right here, it makes 35,250 key support. And what's really important about this, two things are very important, is that the MACD in the daily chart is really strong. Stochastic is fabulous at 96.9. I mean, that is really good. I don't know if I can't say it's flat because it's just got there. And the other thing is that the, I, I am worried about the unbalanced volume. I'm not getting confirmation there, which is telling me that my suspicion is that when we are completed with this move, a certain normalcy will continue that we'll have some digestive phase, but we're making a higher base at this particular point. So that's the way I'm looking at it. Most importantly, the weekly chart, if it breaks out, I'm going to have to turn that peak G because this is what, I, what happens with alternate counts. And I, I told my subscribers who were uh, involved in my webinar last night who were there, I, I know at 4 o'clock to 5.30, not everybody can be there because you're working, doing all sorts of things. So during the archive, the archive should be up today sometime. What I, I mentioned was an alternate count. I'll do that during my show this week. I'll continually show how many times uh, in a pattern everything is positive or everything's negative. But there's a chance that there's an alternate count that you can think of what would happen if it went wrong. Well, right now, in leg gray B, in the weekly chart, if it goes above 35,631, I should give you the points because it, it's in the fractions as well. But let's just say it goes 35,632. I have to then consider this gray B gets eliminated for the moment and that peak G becomes a peak G slash C. And then, in fact, the weekly chart has now gone into a D. I'm trying to be as uh, judicious and I'm trying to be as... Um, conservative in my count as possible. And always says, this is what you're going to be careful of. We are long, so we don't have to worry about the weekly just yet because we're dealing with the daily, the shorter term, or the 120-minute chart. So far, this is all good action, and we've even gone a little higher. Now we're up 116. And one of the reasons why three days ago before the opening, I said, let's go, let's add to our long positions in the diamonds because this is looking like it's there's a chance that it can move higher toward, I only said toward the all-time high. We haven't got there yet. It's still toward the all-time high in the Dow. All right, let's just do this quickly for the S&P because the S&P is 
um, having this one-to-one -one that I moved up a little bit in this extension of the Chapman wave, a one-to-one -one parallel. And this is the whole thing about this one-to-one -one extension. It is parallel. It has the same number of bars. It has the same angle of ascent or descent in this particular technique that I developed. Um, and at 45.32, we're now just... Uh, 32. We're now only for 13 or 14 points away from an all-time high in the S&P. And this is a legacy. This is kind of what you want to see. Um, and the weekly chart above 45, 45 goes to, um, I'm going to call that an E for the moment. All right. And that, if it's in October, it extends the leg B. I can't believe I spoke about this yesterday in the monthly chart. On Believable. That's why I'm saying we're real close to resistance that will test the strength of what we're looking at. QQQ, a nice move up, 375. Um, it's up four cents, but is lagging, and I suspect this lagging is going to continue, even if it makes new uh, all time highs. I think on a percentage basis, the Dow's the leader right now, the SP is next, the QQQ follows, and the IWM is lagging. Is it still lagging? Uh, no, it's actually come alive. It's up 67 cents at 226.51. Ah, hmm. Actually, I'm going to put this in the category right now of tie with third place with the Qs, uh, just because it's in this rectangle formation that can last a lot longer than patience between 234 and 207. It's trading right now 226, much closer to the upper um, half of this particular trading pattern. So that's the IWM Russell 2000. Let's go to um, SMHs. The SMH right now, semiconductor index, lagging down one at 266. This is one of the clues to say this is now becoming a much more selective uh, rally. Uh, in the den, uh, really want to know XLF. Oh, uh, just to see. Yeah, XLF is bouncing nicely. Look at that strength in the XLF. S&P Spider, select financial. Uh, in my webinar last night, I said one of the reasons we have a bank stock, which I like very much, because I think the financials have two things going for it. But the one thing that's really important, yes, interest rates is a factor. But I, I think that the banks are looking a little bit like value stocks, only because they've conformed to all the, all the criteria that were needed for the Fed and for everything, all the, you know, the, for the banking criteria part of it. And that's good. They're also coming out with very nice earnings. I mean, Bank of America had really good earnings the other day. It's trading up 20 cents at 46.67. I should mention we are long from 31. It's at 46. Uh, this is nice action. All-time high a couple of days ago within uh, a dollar or so of an all-time high kind of action that we like. I do expect that it's going to have a bit of consolidation very soon. I want you to go to the TLT since we're talking about interest rates. Look, TLT is making the arch formation. It's down 48 cents at 143.22. I've been talking about this for a little while. In fact, the TBT uh, pulled back very sharply from the 16.64. This is the ultra short Lehman 20 year Treasury bond ETF. It's 1664 rallies up to the 19 area then pulls back to the mid-17s, and now it's at 18.52. All I can say is use this as a benchmark. If at any time in the next three, give it three weeks into the early part of November, if in the next three weeks this touches 19.30, um, you will see yields become a factor in this market and they can start to affect some of the areas. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour, Gaza Country, Voice of Yourself 14. We'll be back, take your calls, and we'll also look at all the questions that came in. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. 
TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. Uh, we're back. I'm just doing this on the QQQ. Uh, someone asked me if I would do this, so let me just do this quickly. There's a chap wave notation on the 10-minute chart. And just there was a question as to uh, where are we? Uh, you know, this trade's in 15,400. It's really tough for me to do uh, because uh, it's hard. I'm doing it visually there. D, E, and F. All right, yeah, 10-minute chart did make a peak F, and it is pulling back. Uh, some it's now only up 17. It was it hit 15,439, and then slipped down to the 15,380 level, and now it's having a little bit of a bounce. Uh, I think that there are people that are looking to to um, put money to work here. So every dip so far, the last couple of days has seen some buyers. Let's look at the uh, NQ one minute chart. Let's just do this A. B, basically, we're looking at higher peaks, the alphabetize them, you go sequentially, um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, at G, there's never an H. You have to think that there's either recycle or you're going to start a new buy mode. And in this particular instance, we've gotten in within the rectangle formation. Remember, I spoke about this yesterday in the, in the webinar. A couple of things I wanted to talk about today, and I said I will follow through in a public forum uh, some of the stuff that we never got to. I just wanted to mention a couple of things. So this is the Chapman Wave rectangle formation, which says within a rectangle for a large rectangle, not the narrow one, there's a chance that you can make a cup formation, try to get back to the left side high. This is when the Chapman Wave left side, right side price time match becomes important. Choose a doji candle or a, if you can't get the midpoint exactly, if it's lopsided like a, like a gravy cup. Uh, then you've got to use some other techniques. So I'm just doing this real quickly. I said I'd do something live today uh, for the rest of the week to show Chapman Wave methodology in practice. So this is the called the Chapman Wave right there. And Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line. I'm drawing this all. This is live. You, almost all. Maybe you don't have the cup formation uh, to be able to draw, draw an arch. But you have almost everything else in every software package. You have straight lines. Maybe you have the rectangles, but you can do that with a rectangle with a with using the straight lines. And here we are. So the Chapman Wave inside wedge 
target resistance line right there says that the NASDAQ uh, E-mini, 100 E-mini, is just bumping his inner leg D. The resistance is at 15,432. The last high was at 15,439. And if it's going to get to the 15,439 level, it should do that by, uh, let's see, 10, right about 10, 26. And um, the MACD is good. Stochastics at 93%. That's fabulous. On balance volume is good. So the cup formation within a rectangle formation says that's, that's what we're looking at. And we'll watch it and we'll come back to it in a moment. Uh, let me get back to our story here. So the TBT, keep an eye on that. Most importantly, we're looking at crude oil now having maybe just a momentary digestive phase, two days without a new high. Whoa, the day is young. We never know. But it's down 40, a whopping 49 cents in crude oil, 81.96 after making a new recovery high yesterday. At, well, I think it was 83.20. What was that? 83.18. Uh, in the continuous contract on the 18th. And um, what we're looking at here is 120-minute mm, chart. No, I'm not going to go there. Uh, what I want to look at is that this is a leg D. It could be, it is a peak D technically, but it hasn't given the peak, peak D a usual uh, reversal if it's going to do that signal yet. But as I was saying before in the update, um, if there is a push into the 8260 area, that is just absolutely amazing action with crude oil because it's almost like a straight line up. But if they're by when today's Wednesday, by Tuesday of next week, if there is even a touch of 78.50, but a close below 78.50, if there's a touch of 78.50, it says ah, a little bit of a, a, di a digestive phase. If there is a close below 78.50, Finally, you'll get a little bit of a, a digestive phase, meaning that the daily chart could lead to the weekly chart having at least one week of a pullback. We're looking at a doji halfway into the week. We've got a doji candle so far in the weekly chart. And look at that. I had that alternate count. So I've made this a leg D potential in the weekly chart after making that PE pretty sharp, severe pullback for crude oil when you consider that it was up in the uh, 70 yeah, up in the 74s, and it pulls back to 61, no, 60.95. That's a big move for, for crude oil. It's one of the biggest moves it's, it's had since that October of 2020 pullback. So I'm just saying we're watching this closely. Why? Because within the context of crude oil, you can't, at a certain point, crude oil becomes a tax. A tax on everybody who uses anything that has to do with the petroleum products. And the other thing is that we, we, we are start, if anybody's been on the road, on the highways over the last few weeks, you've seen traffic that is really amazing. All right. Um, well, let's see. Jimmy says, you sure? You're really not still a peak D? Uh, oh, was that? No, it wasn't me. Okay. Um, is this the move that the S&P monthly chart into Chapman Wave Legs see up for weeks and weeks? Oh. So let me just do this. A question came up here about the S&P. I've been talking about this for a long, long time, that it's one of the most spectacular moves in, a, in an index that we've seen in the QQQ, but this is perhaps one of the most amazing ones. The, the S&P has gone from 2191.86, the low of the 23rd of March of 2020. It had a peak A. What do we call about a peak in the Chapman Wave methodology? It means where the bar that you're following has a lower high bar, and then you can count that leg. This is what I call a floating letter. So the moment that from the low of... March of last year, April started leg A. That leg A continued because it's a floating letter until it makes a peak. And what is a peak? When you're looking at a mountain, when you see the left side going up, you see the right side coming down, that's called a peak. What do I do in the Chapman methodology for a wave 
a wave forms a peak when it makes a lower high bar. Well, that's what happened when on in September it hit 3588.11, and the following month it pulled back, and the low, sorry, the high that month was 3549.85. What is that? Five points, a mere five points lower, and it had an inside bar, and the very next month it broke by one penny the 3588.11 high started a new leg B, and that floating letter went B, next month B, leg 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 B, and in right here in August it went to 43, 30, 45, yeah, 45, 37, 36. The next month it had a high of 45, 45, 85. It broke above it. And this month so far, it's been 45, 57. Unbelievable. Yes, it will continue leg deep. It makes sense. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Chart allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Hi, folks, and thanks for the U.S. inventory data coming up next. They're in the Semis Diverge, 88 degrees yesterday, we went up 3 to, to 9. Yes, so so we've got some of that. And what happened, remember, we were looking at in the NDX, well, I never trade this, I trade the ES minis. Uh, this is at 50,439 at 951. It pulled back, and I said, we're watching this closely. This is a trap wave rectangle formation that forms a cup, a lopsided cup, like a gravy cup, uh, gravy cup, and that it has until 
There's a chapter wave inside wedge target resistance line. And I said that by I given it until I think 1026, the bar of 1026 in the one minute bar to get to that 15,004, uh, was it what I keep forgetting now, 15,439 area. Well, I'm sorry, it took an extra few minutes. It did it, it just went to 15,440 uh, in leg E in the one minute chart. And it's only a leg C in the uh, two minutes. So this could still pull back for a minute or two and then make another high. But it did exactly what we were looking at. This is the technique that I've developed. This is what uh, really has helped us maintain uh, some semblance of uh, structure for our positions in my opening call newsletter. And uh, this is a technique we use. I just did it live right here. Let's go to ESZ21, which I haven't been uh, notating because of all the stuff that's going on. So that's a B, that's a C, and it's gone to the D. Leg D is our target. That's where other things can happen. doesn't mean you say that's where you get a major turn. I'm just saying in the fourth highest peak, that's where other things can happen. That's where you prepare. Your target in the Chapman Wave is to get to a D. Look what happened here. You went to a D, held the nine, e, 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 a moving, nine period moving average, went to an E, and then pulled back and started in your buy mode. And now we're in leg D again. So, okay, these are the techniques. So I just wanted to show you something um, in, in the Bitcoin, uh, sorry, in the um, Tiger. This is the Tiger YouTube. Um, let's see. The EKS says Bitcoin to the moon. Um, and also Rochelle says coin up again and Mara up again. So yesterday, the part that I left out, because I wanted to do it, I spent quite a bit of time talking about Bitcoin that I was very favorably inclined and that because we were using the, uh, we were using not the futures, but the Bitcoin fund, we didn't trade overnight. It's really tough to have stops in it. So that was tough, tough for subscribers. Um, but we were running along a very small position, which is good. And I would have spoken, I had it all written down, I'm going to do it on Saturday, I was going to discuss coin, just as a chart, because it kind of moves parallel moves very nicely with these others It's in leg B at 311. And I was going to just thank you, Rochelle, that's exactly what I was going to do. Didn't do it, then I'll do it now. And I said that some of it I'm going to do during the week, because this is it can be public information, not just for subscribers. Leg D in the daily chart of Marathon Pattern Core, and it's retesting in the cup. Oh, this is just a, a beautiful example. And look, you can see I had it all notated with the Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line. We've broken above that in the weekly chart. So with that said, we're up 197 and 55.88. Not we, but Mari is up. And I'm just going to go to straight to our caller. We've got Brenton Martinez. Hi, Brent. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great, Basil. It's nice to talk with you again. Yes, good to speak with you. So you wanted I'm, to look at? It's uh, 23andMe. It's the symbol of ME. And I uh, I talked about this on uh, uh, Steve's show. When it was near its lows, I just thought uh, it was an interesting company they are going to be doing. Instead of going more the ancestry part of, you know, DNA, they're, they're more involved in the medical aspect of looking at hereditary types of, you know, issues that people might have and, and the time with the DNA. So I thought there's a lot of potential in the stock and then I just noticed that it is broken out of that rectangle pattern. It's been in for about, you know, two and a half months. So, and 23 and me, ME is a symbol. It's trading at 10.58, up 95 cents, is up almost 10 percent. It's ancestry research, and as Brent says, uh, uh, they do uh, the the whole. I heard, I heard it actually sounded to me like someone talking about uh, um, that was being interviewed about the coronavirus or something. I mean, this person was speaking medically all the way through. Then I suddenly saw that she was in part of this ancestry research, 23andMe. And I thought that is very interesting because she's coming to this whole program as the CEO. In fact, I think the whole creator of the, of, the, of the whole process of 
using data, not just do your ancestry to find out whether you came from whatever country it is, but to use it as a medical format. And I think that part of it, she's got 40 programs that she uses with, with the data. Part of it is that it's trying to be a medical, I, I can't call it a library, because the library has a different implication, but I would call it a data almost like a data vendor. I, I might be wrong, but that's kind of how I got it. And I liked it a lot. In fact, it was on my list. I can't even remember if I put it in my, my watch list because I certainly had it as something that I, I was absolutely fascinated with what she was saying. And then I don't know whether the, how recently I heard this, but there's this huge gap at 850 and it hasn't even looked back. It went right through the 200 period moving average and it's moving sharply. Now, it's done this before, and I suspect it did it before also because she was interviewed and people suddenly recognized this. And then look what happened when it went to the nines. It just plummeted down to the mid sevens. So I, before I recommend it for subscribers, I wanted to see, even yesterday, I would say, you know, this is good action. But I need to see some follow through to the upside. Wow, talk about follow through to the upside. Brent, this is, this is what you wanted to see. This looks very good. So I like this very much because there's both a story, there's a sector, a, very, a sector that's very intriguing. There's a story that's very intriguing. And I'm not sure yet whether she's implemented the whole thing as you know, when Zuckerberg started off, he, he was this nerd from Harvard. And when when Facebook went public, the stock just plummeted after the IPO went down to the 18s or something. And I thought to myself, I wonder if he has the acumen to turn this fantastic, whatever it is, into a business. Well, he just turned around and he, within every quarter after that, I mean, he's He's done that exact process. Now I think it's overdone to the business side. That's different. I'm wondering about, maybe you know a little bit more about this, but 23andMe, M-E, there's a symbol. I, if she's able to, to, to monetize this in a way that does not offend the um, either the buyers of the stock all the, um, the directors or the uh, the people running the show, um, this has tremendous potential. But if you look at it as a chart pattern, it has a history so far of spiking up and then not just spiking down. It has this pattern I call the Eiffel Tower, which means it goes straight up and straight down. looks like an uppercase A. So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Can you hold on? Yeah, sure, Basil. Okay, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions and maybe you'll know the answers. The first one is, do you know about the monetization? Do you know about the earnings, etc.? And the second one is, uh, what is your plan? So I'll be back in a moment. The Dow's at 157. It's, it's a 20 now. We'll be right back with Brenton Martinez looking at me. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, hey, folks, we're back, guys. About 158. SP is up 19. We're on with Brenton Martinez, California, and we're looking at ME trading at 10.59, up 96 cents. This is at 23andMe Ancestry Research. Okay, Brent, tell me the story. Am I coming through okay, Basil? I just want to make sure I'm, I am on the headset. Uh, sorry, can you hear me okay, again? Basil? Yeah, I'm here. You're okay? Yeah, I just want to make sure you can hear me okay. Yep, certainly can. So, uh, okay. Brent, first question was anything about the monetization that you might know of. Secondary is, what's your plan? Yeah, I just for me, I, I like the fact that they were going more the route of a medical aspect of it instead of just looking at your DNA ancestrally. Correct. I think that's intriguing. I think they have collaborations with you know, GlaxoSmithKline. They have. That's just more the, the path they're trying to take, and I think that has a lot of potential if, it, if they can, like you said, monetize that, which I think they can do. They're in the process of doing that. I also like the chart. You know, I'm always looking for things that are near their bottom, you know, to try to pick it up there, and, and uh, this is below the actual IPO price. So that was what caught my interest initially. And then, yeah, just seeing, I mean, I like the way it's acting now. It's just encouraging. So, I should just tell you that it's in leg D in the 120 minute chart at this particular point. So far, it's holding well. So far, it also looks like every dip there's been bias because it keeps coming back to this uh, $10.58 uh, area. I like that. I have to call this a fresh leg B to the upside in the daily chart. Implication being that in travel wave methodology, usually when you get a buy mode, and so far, I can just call this a buy signal because the stochastic's not yet at 80%. It's at 71. The MACD is good. It's nicely above the nine. It's done just perfectly at a great example of a gap to the upside that within two days doesn't take out the left side low. That is the gap low. And in this case, it's around about 850. And instead, what it does is it moves higher towards any resistance level, in this case, the 200 period moving of 9.67, 9 it gets repelled there and then stalls there yesterday. And the third session so far is well above the high of, wait, wait, this is Wednesday, so Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Monday, it's Friday. Friday's high on the 15th was $9.64. It's really important in this particular pattern that I'm always looking at. This is the gap up pattern or the gap down. In this case, it's a gap up that within three sessions, if the low is not taken out of the gap day or gap bar, but instead the high, you close above that high, that's usually a very good sign. And for me, what it says is that you've turned the open or closing price, in this case, we can call it the uh, closing price of $9.21. 
into very strong support in the shorter term. So I love what's going on. I love the fact that the weekly chart has started a leg C, but we're only midway into the week, not even midway, sort of midway into the week. Let's wait until Friday. I like everything about it in terms of the chart formations. The other thing that's really important, let me show you something in the, in the, in the, in the daily chart. There's a, a pattern that I, I look at, which is like a cup or a rectangle formation. Uh, I usually just grab the outer bars because in trade station they have just this rectangle um, icon, which is just really nice to grab and use. You don't have to draw too many trend lines. It just does it for you. And that says that the bar of the 12th of July of $11.37, that would be a target because there was an arch formation, I, I'm sure you, you remember that I talk about this pattern called the dreaded H, where it makes a low, tries to rally, fails at that rally, and then comes back and tries to test the left side low. In this case, it's the low of about $7 that was made around about August the 16th. Well, we only went to $7 and about 50 cents. Let me give you the exact figure right here. $7.46. So the low that we're talking about was the low of the 16th that was $7 and one penny. And it made the arch formation went all the way to a peak in a very small buy mode, comes back down, holds successfully, and then powers higher. So I could give this an alternate count. I have no need to. I think this is a leg B. And the target would be, and I'll show you how I draw this in. I can't draw it in right now. Um... I'm going to go all the way to about the 29th of October to the 3rd of, of, November, of November. And I'm, I'm going to say 11, 1097 to 1101 would be this trend line resistance that I'm looking at. I'm, I'm making it up. I'm not drawing it in right now. Um, but it says that that $11.37 target, look at the way it hits the resistance, even if it has a peak B pullback. It should try to go higher. I like it very much. Now, the only thing that would stall it is if there is a close below $9 and say 42 cents. A close below nine, let's call it, yeah, let's call it 9.42, would say, uh oh, it's gone back into this rectangle formation, but making a higher high and a higher low. So you're going to have to wait again before another spike to the upside occurs. So that's the way I'm looking at it. Would it fail? We just don't know because this is an IPO. There's no real history uh, right now. I think you didn't. You, what price did you get in at? I'm in at uh, just below eight dollars. Still in the seven ninety range. So you have a beautiful cushion. Um, I, I, if the question was, would it make sense to take something off right now um, and then put it back? I would just say to you. This is, you've done this so many times. You have a plan. I don't want to interfere with your plan. What I would say is this is the one time that I'm thinking it's made, made such a good move. I don't know if I'd want to put anything, take anything off and then put it back. I'd rather stay with the initial position and see if it's able in the next, by Friday afternoon, you have the whole, you have two and a half days in which to attempt to touch 1090 to 1103. And if it can do that, that's fantastic. So I just don't know if this is one that, I, looking out longer term, there's a story. I don't know if this is one I want to mess around with. If you're thinking short term trade, absolutely take something off now. You've got a huge percentage gain. But if you're looking out and saying, you know, this just, I've got in at a really good price. It's gapped up from my pr entry point. I mean, I must have got so close to the low that I've got a really good cushion. I'm going to use that to my advantage as a more intermediate term position. That's kind of the way I'd be looking at it. I, so you got either the short term position that says, you know, I had a fantastic gain. I must take something off. I can put it back at 960 or 940, uh, a point lower. But I'm looking at this and I'm saying, if you can build up a, 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 a position over a period of weeks because it just refuses to go back down under nine dollars <laughs> who says the potential because there's a story that's the only reason why i'm saying there's a story behind it there's an implementation of the story that seems to be unfolding you got in fabulously i'd rather 
and rather start new positions, thinking separately, a different mindset completely on a pullback and cheat it that way. So I hope that helps you. It does, Basil. Thanks for both all, all the analysis you did. And I'm looking more longer term. So just have a great day and thank you so much. Thank you very much for calling. Uh, Brent, always a pleasure. And folks, the Dow's up 164, S&P's up 19. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Uh, let's go backwards. Yeah, the, the last uh, person in the den asking the question was SD, or was for a shark. You want to know about SD, which is sandwich. I used to have this notated. It's not notated right now, but it did make a peak up in the 14s. It's pulled back now uh, to the day's low is 11.10. It's trading at 11.80, up 30 cents. It's trying to form a base of support. I think give it a little time, absolutely, in the monthly chart and the weekly chart, this is in play. But you asked me about a question, and I'm going to say, I, if you, if you want, and you don't have any position at all, you could just start a little position here. But realize that 10% is easy to drop right now after such a spectacular move, going from the twos and the fours over the last uh, uh, six months or so, right up into the 14s. So. I would just say I would hold off a little bit, but if you haven't got any, maybe you could just start a little position at 1179. Be prepared. It could pull back to 1020. That's what I think. The, the low tens is where I would like to look at it. A whole bunch of these, I'm waiting for pullbacks in these in, in, in the oil sector, energy sector, Sandridge Energy, S, 
day trading at 11.79 up 29 cents so that's what i'm saying right now i'll do a little bit more work tonight because i want to be looking at a lot of these to see if they can pull back yes uh, paul a good a good say a way to hedge uh, uh, driving and heating oil is to own USO. USO is up at a peak. D is holding very well. Crude oil's come back. There was an inventory report. Must have been good. Uh, it's up 11 cents. This, it's relentless. And this is going to be a factor in the market over the general market. It is possible that it's a good sign here because it's good to have oil moving high, but not this high. And 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 high grade uh, high grade copper is acting very nicely as well in the upper range. Just a couple of quick questions I had. Uh, let me get to them. Uh, yes, BX is one that I always talk about. Uh, this is called um, Black Blackstone Group. Very nice action, but it's in a leg D, way under the previous 136 high. I just say it's a little late to get in right now. I'll do some work on it. I'll do that tomorrow. Just uh, some of the questions that came in, Doc, you will do some of this work tomorrow, uh, Thursday. Doc, you is one that would like to buy, but hold on. So, guys, I'm on 60. Have a great day. Stay tuned for Larry Pizzamento. What should be a wonderful show as always.